obviously involved in, in architecture, involved all those are the big two. But uh, on campus, I'm also involved with Athletes in Action. It's an athlete's version of crew. I'm also a, um, I also go to crew every week. And then I'm also a part of Freedom by Design, which is a architecture group of students that go and design typically ramps for uh, war veterans or handicapped. Okay. We brought Lee on a recruiting visit, took him over to the architecture uh, college and had Rod Underwood, who we, we always have meet with our recruits that are interested in architecture, talk to him. And His first words to me were, I'm the, the academic advisor of architecture and I strongly, strongly, strongly advise you to choose a different major. He says, you probably don't want to do this. You, this is really a bad idea, trying to be an architecture major and uh, an athlete is going to be very difficult on you. It's going to be um, something that you have to manage and you have to really schedule out your days and plan your time. I took it as a personal challenge because I knew in my heart that architecture was the perfect melding of art and mathematics, which were my two strong points in high school. A lot of students tend to pride themselves in the lack of sleep that they get and I know that if I don't get that, you know, four hours of sleep that night that I'm just going to be pooped the next day. There have been times uh, where we're doing a team video session and I'll look over and, and Lee is asleep. I think I've only fallen asleep during video once, so I don't know why he said multiple times. Um, uh, there have been times where I've come in in the morning for uh, practice and Lee will literally be sitting up leaning against uh, a basketball goal and asleep. Not many survive the dual paths. There's class time that is sacrificed as well as the work that's done outside of class. So trying to keep both going turns out to be quite a challenge. Uh, as far as class conflicts, there has not been one semester or season yet where I have not either had to leave practice early or go to practice late. As I've developed, I've seen that the more you apply yourself to school, the easier things in your social life or athletic life, the easier they are. I hope that just people recognize me as just being a loyal friend, someone that they can, you know, just come to and talk to. I know that I go to people and ask them for help multiple times throughout the week. And just because I am committed to a lot of things personally doesn't mean that I don't have enough time to make time for other people. I just, I see Lee as somebody who, who really gets it and who has his priorities in place. Lee is here for academics and volleyball is kind of the, the extra benefit, the, the added bonus that he gets to participate in. And I'm okay with that because he's gonna benefit in life because of that. Volume, one, two, one, two, volume.